I'm not the lovable bookstore manager in New York, or the shop clerk in LA, or the doting husband in the suburbs, no, not anymore. Netflix's hit psychological thriller, You, goes international with season four, as we follow Joe Goldberg to Europe, where he started a new life for himself. But as we all know, old habits die hard. No, I am not interested, nope, not interested. I don't want to know. Oi, where did you go? Welcome to The Rewind. Here's everything we know about you season four. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button for good luck. Number four, official trailers. They're calling him the eat the rich killer. Get away. Netflix released the first teaser for season four on September 24th. The teaser previews somewhat of a rebirth for Joe as he assumes the persona of Professor Jonathan Moore. At first, it appears as though his new life in London has allowed him to bury the past and move on from his days of unrequited love and longing. This time around, Joe is primarily focused on keeping his extracurricular activities professional, but the various shots we see of some new characters suggest that Joe's new academic life might not be as drama-free as he had hoped. The full trailer was subsequently released on January 9th, giving fans their best look yet at the highly anticipated fourth installment. You think one of my friends is the killer? Stop playing shitty Sherlock. Number three, the plot. Oh, did someone break your heart? Did you break my heart, Marion? Season three ended with a pretty dramatic finale, and that's putting it lightly. Joe murdered his wife, faked his own death, baked his toe into a pie to pin the blame on love, and then set his house on fire. In season four, Joe is no longer the lovable bookstore manager, the shop clerk, or the doting suburban husband. This time around, he's in London and going by the name Professor Jonathan Moore. He tries his best to blend into the world of academia, but given Joe's track record, a campus full of co-eds, probably isn't the best environment for him to make a fresh start. But I do miss having someone out there. Hello. No. No, I am not interested. Nope. Number two, separate releases. All motives always boil down to sex, money, or revenge. Okay. Unfortunately for binge-hungry fans, season four will not be released all at once. Instead, it's slated to be released in two parts. Part one will premiere on February 9th, while part two is set to be released on March 10th. Though Netflix typically releases new seasons of their shows all at once, this isn't the first time they've split a season into two parts. Past examples include Stranger Things, Ozark, and BoJack Horseman. Considering this method has been received well in the past and serves as a great buildup for any season finale, it's likely we'll continue to see Netflix release new seasons of its biggest shows in multiple parts. You're a murderer, Joe. You're wrong about me. I'm gonna prove it to you. And number one, the cast. Turns out teaching's fun and London's not so bad. I fell in with the most insane damaged people on earth. A circle of privileged douchebags. As with any new installment, some familiar faces are to be expected. Of course, Penn Bagley will reprise his role as Joe Goldberg, with Toddy Gabrielle also reprising her role as Marianne. Last season ended with Marianne escaping to Paris with her daughter, but from the looks of it, she's underestimated Joe's obsession. Season 4 will also introduce us to some new faces. Lucas Cage, best known for his role in shows like Euphoria and American Vandal, will be joining the cast alongside Amy Lee Hickman, Charlotte Ritchie, Ed Spilliers, and Nikki Lynn, just to name a few. Of course, one cast member we don't expect to see in Season 4 is Victoria Pedretti, whose character Love met her unfortunate demise at the end of Season 3. Joe stabbed Love with a lethal dose of aconite, and then burned their house to the ground with love trapped inside. So it would be a stretch for the writers to resurrect her character. That being said, if love did somehow miraculously escape the fiery inferno of her Madre Linda home, 
It wouldn't be the first time one of Joe's presumably deceased ex-lovers has come back to haunt him. Are you hiding in plain sight? So who are you? Well, that's it. What do you think about you season 4? Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a like and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out these other videos from The Rewind, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video again.